I recently asked you guys if you wanted tips other than just blatant YouTube tips. A few of you spoke out. Today we're going to be talking about how to efficiently study, however these practices can be put towards pretty much anything you do in life. Hey guys, in the comments down below, let me know what are some tricks you use to study. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, back to the video. Hey guys, what's up everyone here, and today we're going to be talking about studying and how to make that a bit better and easier on you guys. So, let's get down to our viewer question. Derek Plays Games asks, Personally, I would prefer some tips on how to study more efficiently. As an 11th grade student, I would appreciate the tips and uh, methods on how to raise my grade into the mid-90s from someone who has to do the equal amount of work to get into the 90s as a 60s on a regular basis. Not sure if that's worded right or not. I don't know if I'm reading it right or not. To sum the rest of it up, he's looking into universities, he's actually looking into some pretty awesome programs. But, the issue is, the universities, <laughs> and trust me I know this, to apply to a university you do need a minimum mark, and usually this is 80% or higher. A lot of people do have trouble achieving this mark. So, I figured, why not help you guys out? Now guys, before we start out, I just want to say that my story is not that of someone who just couldn't wrap his head around the concepts and ideas, you know, in math or science or whatever. To be honest, and I really don't want to come off as like, as some pretentious dick face, but I am smart. The thing is, I was quite lazy and I was not responsible. However, here I am in university, having graduated from high school in my program of choice, my favorite, and it's awesome. Ah, And for once, I'm not going to be drawing on my experiences from high school. No, I'm going to be drawing on my experiences from university and applying them to high school. The one thing I've realized being here for the past few months is that I love what I'm studying. I'm studying architecture and I absolutely love it, okay? It's it's one of my passions and I, I couldn't be happier here studying this stuff. When I compare it to what it was I was studying back in high school, I realized that I had no connection to that material. As much as my science teacher was an awesome guy, my math teacher was cool, I didn't necessarily have horrible luck with my teachers, or the subject matter, the this, this stuff didn't necessarily appeal to what I truly was into. What I find is that being in a program which circulates around, uh, in my case, architecture, everything that we do, even if it's not necessarily grounded in architecture, even if the projects are essays, or if they're video projects, or if they're d completely different assignments, I find them so much easier to do than in high school. And to a degree, I even find them enjoyable, which, when you think about it, what? Work? Enjoyable? Blah! And it got me thinking, what if back in high school, I, I had a way to relate everything I was doing, or at least most of the things I was doing, to architecture? Now, this isn't some kind of, you know, limitless, I give you a pill and you suddenly jump 10% type deal. Sorry. And it might sound really cliche, like really super cliche, but what you need to do is find something in your work that relates even the most insignificant amount to what you plan on doing when you graduate. Now on the surface this might seem more of a mo motivational tool, and it is that, but that doesn't mean it's the only thing it does. Oftentimes you'll hear about the people who uh, skip to a beat, who will make up a song to memorize, you know, the chemical formula. What you need to do is find a way to relate all of this stuff to what your passions are. If your passion is YouTube, for example, trying to explain the topics that you're trying to understand, one of the things I've found is that every single video that I've made, even if I don't remember the exact wording, the topics and ideas that I discuss in my videos, I remember. I'm literally just shooting out random ideas at you right now, but hopefully at least some of them pegged, and uh, I wish you the best of luck. Let me know how it goes in the comments. Anyway guys, if you're having an issue, or if you have a topic that you'd be interested in learning more about, please leave it down below. My job here is to help you guys grow. <laughs> as cheesy as it may sound, I'm here to help you grow, and I'm going to try my best uh, to help you guys do that. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Like I said, leave a comment down below, and if you want to check out more of my Freedom videos, there is a playlist link down below, as well as a link to my personal channel. Feel free to check those out at your leisure. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time! 
click the links if you want to see more from Freedom, and if you want to see more of my ugly mug, just click right here. This is a cherry. Congratulations! <laughs> you found it!